Now welcome to Rosemary at Home. I'm very excited because you're in my kitchen. I'm going to be making moussaka. We're going to do moussaka with lamb, but you can do it with beef, beef or lamb. What is important is about a moussaka is the depth of flavour. So I know that you guys at home will understand it's you've just got to be patient with it, but also it's worth doing. And may I tell you, it freezes like a dream. It really does. It does so well. Now, here we have some lovely lamb. We've got some aubergines. Now, what I've done with these aubergines, just so I'll show you first, I have cooked them in the oven. Here they are. I want to do that in advance. There's no point. And I've literally, all I do is I just do that, take the top off, and I take off the bit of the outside there. Now, the trick is to do it thickly. So I'm going one. You may think, oh my gosh, that's thick. No, it's not. Two, three. Okay, now we can just about get a fourth by taking that little bit off there. So I've got four slices of aubergine and all you do is, it's literally, to put it in the oven, by doing it this way, this is what, I didn't wash it because I cooked those in here. All I do is there, like that, put it on the tray and put some olive oil over, drizzle olive oil. Okay. Now, so easy, and when you're doing it this way, it doesn't sap up so much oil when you actually fry it. That's really, so loads of oil. But doing it this way, it's better, it's drier, it's more healthy. So I'm gonna put this in the oven now for about 25 minutes on a high heat, 200. Okay. Chop one large onion and fry it in a casserole dish, but just soften it, don't let it go too brown. I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning on it. So what that does, it draws the water out of it as well. Chop four That's cloves fine. of garlic. Not very good chopping, but never mind. Right, we're now going to put in the meat. And the most important thing is when you're putting in the meat is you must make sure you separate it. What I do is I get two forks. Right, you know the most important thing for me in my world is that I get everything local. Literally, my meat is from the butcher just literally around the corner. My All my vegetables come from the farm shop, which is literally a shack, which I love, um, but it's more than that. They have all sorts of different things. And it's such a pleasure to work with these people. We're going to put in the tomatoes now. Now, I much prefer to use whole tomatoes. They're juicier, they're better than using chopped tomatoes. Some oregano, ground coriander, in fact, I'm going to put it all in some ground coriander. So that's all in now, the flavours are there. So I'm now going to put in cinnamon sticks. There we go. Two cinnamon, because I love that cinnamon flavour. But I'm also going to put in some stock. So we're going to put in some stock just to help it a little bit. Now, we're going to have to probably reduce that up because, here we are, because it's going to be too thin. But I want to cook this for a period of some time. So I'm going to just leave that there. I'm going to leave all the juices to come out. I'm going to season it, but I'm not going to season it too much. This is my brownie, which I do for sometimes for stews, casseroles, you name it. So I'm going to now stir that in. See how it goes, look. Look at that. That's lovely. So, pop that there. On. I'm going to use this lovely gratin dish. So I've cooked these potatoes. These are ordinary potatoes, Marius Pipers, which I have cooked off till they're just cooked. The next thing is I'm now going to put on the base some potato. Now I've actually, I've um, buttered the dish so it's better, so it won't stick. I think so. Spot on. This will be taking about 
as I said, about a good half hour to 40 minutes. Now, first thing we've got to do is to make our roux is to melt some butter into a saucepan. Now, I'm just going to use this spoon here. So we're going to melt this butter. Put in the flour. We're just going to stir it in to make the, the roux itself. Okay. Now, what I've got to do here, I have to slightly cook off the flour itself because if not, you'll have a little bit of a floury taste. So I need to just bring it up and what will happen is it'll turn a little white. So you can see it's the white's coming all over almost. I think it's almost done. Yeah, they, I think it's almost done now. Look, stir it. That's it. I'm going to add a tiny bit of milk. Now add a little bit just to thicken it up. Just help a little bit. Now I'm a bit naughty. Bit of a whisk. Make sure you really get all those lumps out. More milk to it. Okay, there we go. And now some more milk. Now, the bay leaves. To get the best flavour out of the bay leaves, you must screw it up there, like that. So that gets all the oils out of the bay leaves. And we're now going to put in the parmesan. I put quite a lot of parmesan in, as you can see, because I love it. And I just think it works so well with this. We're just going to put this on a low heat, so does its thing. Now I'm not going to put the egg yolks in until it's it's melted and also till it's cooled down a bit because I don't want what I don't want to do is cook the egg. That's really thick. Perfect. Now I'm going to put in some nutmeg because I love nutmeg in it. It just is delicious. It just works. Okay that's it. That's off. That's off. Right that's ready. The meat is the final thing to give. So we're nearly there on the meat. I'm going to put in some of the, the puree now. And this puree, it'll do two things. It'll thicken it and it'll make it more tomatoey. So, perfect. I'm going to take the cinnamon sticks out because I don't really need those anymore. And this will take about, literally, I reckon, another 10 minutes and we're done. I'm just going to take it to this. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely delicious. I'm going to see how that aubergine, the slices I did earlier, which wasn't so long ago actually. That is perfect. They're spot on. Look at that lovely golden colour. I love that. Right, we'll use these as well then. And the others, we'll use them all. Right, remember how thick I cut them and look how much they've gone down. If they were thin, it, it would have they would have disintegrated and then you wouldn't have had your beautiful airing. So sort of cutting them thick is quite important, I think. So we'll pop it there, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to assemble my lovely um, moussaka. But the first thing I have to do is I have to take my topping and egg in your egg. Now, egg, egg yolk, I should say, because it needs to sort of stiffen up. Okay, there we go. So I'm now going to take this lovely mince. Look how gorgeous that is. Pop it in. Make sure it gets into all the crevices. There we go. Really all the bits between the potato. Well, look at the smell. I tell you what, there we are. The smell, it's amazing, I love it. I think smells are so, so important. Now I'm going to take the aubergine we did earlier. This is the cold one, which is fine. Now, you've got to make sure you really layer it well. Really layer. That's it, push. Now we're going to do that, and now I'm going to do that. Now, push, push, push down. Really push, so you can see it's a flattened area, okay? Now we're going to take a little bit of this, again. 
push. Oh, it's gorgeous. This on. Perfect. Now I've kept the bay leaf on the top. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven and we'll get it out in about 40 minutes. Yummy! That is so good. Wow. That looks, and I love the fact I can see that little bit of bay leaf there. Holding together beautifully. Oh my giddy aunt, that is so nice. There is my moussaka, enjoy.